Hey guys, I'm here to show off my latest project. Although you're probably wondering why I'm showing off this ship, because <clears throat> if you watched any of my other videos, you'll probably notice that this is, well, my first ship that I posted um, <clears throat> all the way back at the, uh, the beginning of uh, this year, I believe it was uh, January. I built uh, the Refit Enterprise, basically when I started setting all this up. Uh, and I did a uh, prefabricated light kit uh, when I did this model. Well, I did sort of a, a redux or uh, basically a redo of this ship, but not this ship, of course. Uh, I'll redo this ship uh, specifically, but there's another Constitution class starship that's out there that also shares the name Enterprise, and that's the Enterprise A. All right, that's a little better. So here we have the Enterprise A in all of her glory. I'm gonna try not to move around too much because it's still a little iffy on the display stand. Um, but as you can see, uh, this has all the A decals, the, the blue uh, color scheme. And actually, uh, this is sort of a, <clears throat> a soft two-in-one kit because uh, what I did was I bought the older uh, Enterprise refit kit from, I believe it was 2009. And I initially got this kit because it came with the Aztec decals. Uh, here's, here's the kit right here. This came out in 2009. And it came with all uh, the Aztec decals already in the box because when I had to um, build the Enterprise refit, uh, that kit came out, I believe it was 20, what the year was it? 2020, okay. It was, it came out, it came out uh, earlier last year and it came with the Aztec decal separate, uh, but it came with all the uh, Enterprise A decals. So the, the blue decals, as opposed to the, uh, the green one on the, uh, on the Enterprise refit. However, as I kind of realized uh, once I started laying the decals, uh, these are a little more muted. Uh, then the refit, and I'll post uh, pictures of the side-by-side -side comparison of, of the two, uh, but it's really noticeable. Um, let me see if I can get the camera around. Uh, if you see in the registry NCC1701A, you'll notice the A is slightly darker than the rest of the lettering. Uh, same with the uh, underneath as well. Um, but it's all right, it's, it's, it's very minor. In fact, when I showed my roommate, he didn't even notice. Um, but basically what I wanted to do with this kit, because I had used um, a prefabricated lighting kit with the Enterprise Refit, um, it, was, it was an all right first model to do when I really went back into modeling. Um, but as I started building more models, the Excelsior Define and uh, the last one was Voyager, uh, I decided I wanted to go back to the Constitution class starship and essentially put in the lights that I want and put in uh, a little more detail than I really wanted to put uh, with the with the refit uh, enterprise. Uh, one of those details, uh, of course, that I did with Voyager was all the navigation lights. So this ship has all the navigation lights done. Uh, and aside from those lights, uh, it's uh, got a tenant controls uh, control board hooked up to it. So once I plug it in and I stop dawdling, <clears throat> and see that everything is on a timer. You've got your strobes, you've got your navigations. Let's pan around real quick. So it's got uh, five on the top navigation lights, three strobes, and then if I move this down, up you'll see the other navigation lights the three on the bottom of the saucer and you very probably could see it there there's a strobe on the very bottom where the phaser banks are <clears throat> and then in addition to the antenna controls board I um, with this model, got the uh, the photo etch uh, de details. So here, uh, along the warp nacelle and the impulse engines back here, these have photo etch details uh, attached to them, along with the uh, officer's lounge and the uh, the orboretum laboratory. I can always forget what it's called. Um, down here on the bottom, 
So these all came as de uh, details to put on, and inside the ship is a little ski like little box that sort of represents the the arboretum. Um, and then I had um, window drawing guides because on the former model, uh, the refit, uh, and same with this one as well, the decals have uh, the window details, but they are in with the the the, fa the 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 sensor strips along along the saucer rim. Uh, so when I did the uh, refit, uh, I didn't score any of the the markings, or I didn't I didn't pre drill them. So once I um, once I started drilling them, everything was sort of out of whack. Uh, the drill bit sort of slid over the uh, over the decal, so it, it ended up being a mess. So I did these uh, beforehand. Um, when I did the refit, uh, I actually didn't even get the uh, the officer's lounge uh, uh, back here. Or the uh, sorry, the rec room. That's that's the rec room. The, uh, the officers' lodge is on the top, uh, so I wasn't even able to drill that. So I got that uh, little detail in there. So all the windows uh, are drilled out. Although <clears throat> another problem with this uh, set is uh, sorry, the decal set is that uh, while everything is a bit more uni unified and all the um, all the Aztec decals went on uh, pr like in, in large blocks. So I say like that uh, docking ring was already on there. Uh, all the window de decals uh, are on there as well. So they kind of cover up all the windows that I, I drilled out down here. Um, but that's fine because um, you could just make it like, you know, some windows are off uh, and uh, some, some glow does poke through. Um, some of the windows, it's not easily be seen here, but if you're in the dark, they'll definitely poke through. Uh, as this is my favorite ship design, I basically wanted to go back and do this justice. So uh, while I did this with the A, I'm gonna go back to uh, the refit and redo it basically the same way, um, but I'm probably gonna basically buy another one of the, the newer kits, because even though, um, even though the, the older kit came with the uh, the Aztec decals, uh, I prefer them. I, pr I prefer the other ones better. Uh, I wanted to get a little little more consistency in in um, the boldness of the decals. Um, and actually, I didn't even know um, I messed up on the uh, the refit. There's a uh, there's a decal that's actually supposed to go on the bottom of this uh, Enterprise. Uh, it sort of resembles like, um, I don't even know what pattern it's called, uh, but the original Enterprise, uh, the, the TOS Enterprise, had that same detailing on the bottom, and uh, the A is supposed to have it, uh, according to, um, I believe the name is Agatha Chamberlain's uh, guide to um, the differences between the refit and the Enterprise A. I'll, I'll post a link uh, in the description with the uh, the pictures and the sources and all that. And actually, incidentally, um, I when I did my Enterprise refit uh, video, I had a question on uh, a set of circle decals that came uh, with it, and I had no idea where it came from because uh, even as I look to the uh, to the decals, as I. Bring out, bring this out. None of the guides here had uh, those little red circles. Uh, it was decal 47. And it turns out that on the refit only, according to that, uh, that link of the differences, those red circles are supposed to go around each and every single one of the running lights on the ship. So, uh, and it actually makes sense because there's actually uh, on the refit uh, kit, there's a little decal that goes in the back and has one of those red rings. And I sort of suspected it, but I didn't quite put two and two together at that time. So um, if I do that kit again, I'll know to kind of include that little detail. Uh, oddly enough, that detail isn't on this according to, um, according to that, that website. It's not on the Enterprise A, um, but I'll remember to do it next time. And when I get uh, another one of the uh, the newer kits, I will probably attach that decal onto this kit so that's a bit more uh, screen accurate. Uh, so yeah, that's essentially everything I did to this model. Um, I'll of course do what I normally do and I'll put in all the, all the pics of the guts and everything I did to it. Uh, 
basically the experience was the same. The, the, it's the same mold. So the building process wasn't any different. I just excluded um, putting in the window de uh, uh, plastic parts here for the officer's lounge and the arboretum because uh, those uh, aforementioned photo etch details uh, provided basically the, the covers for those. And I used, uh, you probably see it back here. This is my first time using uh, this crystal clear uh, that I just happened to have on hand. One of my dad gave me a whole bunch of his uh, old paints. Uh, so I filled in all the, uh, the windows here so that it's all covered up. Although consequently there, um, because of that, uh, any detail that I had put on that uh, photo etch detail, unfortunately can't really be seen anymore, but I know it's there. Um, outside of that, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, part of the detail I wanted to put in too, um, with the refit Enterprise and Enterprise A, um, one of the most iconic scenes, of course, is that, you know, light up sequence when, you know, you got all the, the spotlights all over the ship, uh, lighting up to, you know, depending on if you're watching the motion picture or, uh, the Wrath of Khan, either, uh, J Jerry Goldsmith or, or James Horner's, you know, fantastic soundtracks you know, going to the, to the timing of the, uh, of the ship. Um, I didn't exactly do it with this scale. There is going to be a, uh, not a, more of a dream right now because I wouldn't be able to do it in where I, where I live now. Like I just don't have the space. If I ever do a one three fifty scale refit enterprise, um, I will put in all the, uh, the lights that would normally go all, all over the ship, the spotlights here, here, all over the pylons, over the, in the, in the cells. Um, but for this, I essentially open up uh, uh, the the um, the clip here, like the, the way the bridge attaches. And there's a clip that goes here, and then I made sure to put an LED <clears throat> here on the top. And then if I pan down to below it, you probably saw it uh, earlier, but I'm just gonna highlight it. Uh, I got the spotlights on the bottom too, and I'm actually really happy. Uh, with this one, a little bit more than the top because the uh, the spotlights actually, you can actually see them casting lights uh, on on the bottom. So I found that to be really cool. Um, if I ever, like I said, if I ever do the 350 scale, uh, I will do the whole nine yards to it. But at this scale, uh, I'm, I'm happy with the, the spotlight here. Um, unfortunately, in the dark, it's going to, like this one here the, the, at the very top, um, I probably needed to have found something to, you know, aim the light a little more down because it kind of just fires fires straight out. It doesn't quite light the top, but the effect is still there, and I'm I'm still very happy with uh, with how this ship came out. Um, I, my goal for um, doing the next model, like any, anytime I do a new kit, is essentially to bring something new to it that I haven't done before. Uh, with the Excelsior, it was essentially doing my own lights. Uh, with uh, Defiance, there wasn't really anything I brought to it. It was just a small kit I did in between. Uh, but Voyager was really the one that had uh, the fiber optics, the formation lights. That's really what I want. Like that's that, that was the next uh, detail I wanted to push. Uh, and then with uh, with this enterprise, uh, I wanted, of course, to have a control board, to have uh, the navigation lights, uh, do the the photo etch details, so I can get uh, get this detail. Because if you don't have uh, the lights off uh, on uh, and you turn it off, then they look a bit more black, like they're supposed to be, and that's the photo etch details uh, just painted uh, over over that. <clears throat> so. Yeah, that's it. Um, I may experiment with soundboards later on uh, in the future, but that's that's going to take some some learning to do. Um, this is this is simple, you know, electronics and, and soldering. So like, I, I I post these just to share my experience and of course to show that other people can can do this, you know, with a little bit of experience. It's it's not not terribly hard if you really love doing these ships. Um, okay, so I'm rambling at this point, so I'll go ahead and wrap it up, and I will see you all in the next one.